could Certainly. and give me the figures on that. That would be helpful. Can I turn uh, to the issue of organ harvesting and whether the department is aware of the China Tribunal, as it was called. I think it was a, was a Geoffrey Nice QC who undertook an inquiry into this. Uh, Senator, we're aware that the China Tribunal, initiated by the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China, uh, has issued a report on org organ harvesting right. in China. And do we think that's a robust report, one that's worthy of uh, being treated seriously? Senator, we treat all um, reports that on this issue very seriously. We're currently digesting the report. Uh, we oh, you're currently had, digesting? We're looking at it at the moment. All right. Look. We take such um, reports very seriously. We take the, the um, allegations very seriously. Um, and we're strongly opposed to organ trafficking, and we but have raised our um, concerns with the Chinese government on many occasions about this matter. Yeah. Look, thank you for that. Uh, um, I suppose there are reports and reports, but when you've got somebody like Sir Geoffrey Nice QC uh, providing his time free of charge, who is not part, as I'm advised at least, of Falun Gong, mm. and he comes down with these findings, it sort of makes a uh, compelling reading. So when. How long do you think it'll take for the department to work its way through that uh, report? Uh, Senator, we have um, people looking at the report at the moment. All um, right, so look, could you take on notice then, please, uh, what your or the department's determination is in relation to its robustness, validity, whether it's a worthy report for quoting um, or whether you think there are certain issues to use a di diplomatic uh, We can certainly term. come back to you with a view about could. the report. That would be good. Um, now, have other countries responded to this report? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, if you could look at that for me, please. I understand they have, and I understand also that they have accepted the report, but uh, I will await Australia's response. Um, now, is the government, and I'm not sure I would imagine it be foreign affairs, but is the government investigating cooperation bes between Australian medical universities, hospitals and Chinese hospitals known to be involved in organ transplant in China? Is that something that's come across the radar of the Department no, of Foreign Australian, Affairs? Australian medical establishments and Chinese establishments. Yes, no. uh, being in cooperation with organ transplanting, which of course on the face of it is a very good honourable thing to be pursuing until you realise where the organs are being donated, in inverted commas, from where they're being donated. So that's the issue here. The scientific endeavour, and if it's all voluntary, that's great. But if we have these concerns about what's happening in China, hopefully that cooperation then between our two countries in this area of very worthy endeavour in principle should be ringing some alarm bells if the organs uh, that are the subject of this um, scientific endeavour are harvested in the manner asserted by the China Tribunal. Senator, uh, I mean, DFAT doesn't and can't speak for Australian universities, but I'm sure if, if any of them were here represented, they would talk about their uh, ethical procedures and uh, protocols around these things. So, I mean, it's, it's not, uh, I appreciate But they the may not necessarily know. No, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so that's why I'm wondering if the department potentially liaises with these people to say, look, be careful, you are treading into territory that you might find uh, is completely, in the, uh, completely unacceptable. We can certainly draw the report All to the right. attention of universities. Australia. Can we go to Israel?